Hello everyone. My name is S Nagasai Srivanth. I am studying B.Tech in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering at VVIT. Today, I would like to share about my learnings from Coursera. Before starting that, I expect everyone of you are staying home and safe. I really thank our college management for giving a resource like Coursera. In Coursera, I have started exploring various courses. I have seen all the courses and was confused with what course to elect. Then I opted with a specialization of web development. The reason why I selected web development is it is one of the trending courses. We can share what we built through small links. We can see and share our output at the instant when we work on it. And at last, it is very easy to learn. So, I opted for the specialization web development for everybody. The specialization has five different courses. Of those, I have completed two courses. They are HTML5 and CSS3. Let me tell you about HTML first. HTML means Hypertext Markup Language. All the websites are built using HTML. In this course, I have learned how internet works and understood the name why we call it web development or website. Let me tell you the history of HTML. HTML was developed by Tim Berners-Lee. He invented HTML for the sake of scientists. In 1980s, it was difficult for scientists to share their work each other from different countries. So Lee developed HTML. Initially, scientists used HTML to share their research paper on internet. Later, HTML has got many purposes other than science. HTML is a 3 weeks course. By the end of 3 weeks, I have designed a website using HTML. Let me show you the website I have created. After seeing the website, you might be thinking that this website is not so cool man. Yes, even I thought the same. I have designed the website describing about me. But there is no styling in the website. So the websites look such a glee without stylings. Then CSS comes into picture. Yes, CSS means cascaded style sheets. CSS is used to style HTML pages and hence I learned CSS too. CSS is a 4 weeks course. By the end of 4 weeks, I learned to style the HTML pages. By the end of 4 weeks, I have converted and styled the HTML page before I have shown you. Let me show you the styled website. It looks somewhat cool, right? Along with that, I had also styled few pages recommended as a part of assignment. Let me show you that. During these courses, I have done assignments which are to be reviewed by my peers. I have also reviewed my peers too. This kind of learning helps us to learn from the mistakes of our friends and peers. I have completed HTML and CSS. And now I am really interested in building new websites. So, I have started building websites for birthdays of my friends and my family. I have designed a web page for birthday of my sister and also for the birthday of my friend's father. The link to that website is given in the description below. If you find any error in my code, please let me know. Let us learn together. I am designing web pages for birthdays and earning money too. I understood the power of web development. I am earning money with only HTML and CSS. If I learn more, I think I can earn more. After HTML and CSS, the next course is JavaScript. But I really don't want to start JavaScript because I am really bored with coding. So for a small change, I have enrolled for Astronomy, Exploring Space and Time. I have done just 2 weeks of the course, but I learned a lot of information. I really love the course. I understood the history of calendars the history of April Fool's Day, the real meaning of the names of the days in a week and names of the months. Let me explain you each of them. Now, let me tell you the history of calendars. Calendars were designed by ancient Rome in the 7th century BC. Most of the calendars at that time were designed by lunar cycle that is based on variations on moon. Even our own Telugu calendar is also based on lunar cycles. According to Rome, they started months from March. You may think why March? Because 
by March summer starts ice starts melting and hence they can start farming and also they can train their army in sunshine while they are following lunar calendar they ignore two months that is covered by ice they are january and february hence they only have 10 months march to december they really felt difficult with lunar cycle because it became difficult for them to estimate the output of crop so they started using solar cycle lunar cycle calendar is based on rotation of moon around earth but solar cycle calendar is based on rotation of earth around sun it takes 365 and one fourth day for earth to rotate around sun all one fourth days are added in a leap year and made a new day this new day was added as february 29th they intentionally divided months into 31 and 30 days alternatively but february is the only unluckiest month which has only 28 days or 29 days it is surprising that July and August have 31 days also they are together in row. There is a reason for that too. When they made the calendar, there were few months without names. An astronomer of that time named Julian made this calendar. So he named a month with his name called July. July has 31 days. After Julian, an astronomer named Augustus modified errors in his calendar and he named a month after his name named August. He has much ego. As July has 31 days, he also need more days. So he added an extra day in his month. That is why there are 31 days in August too. After that, an astronomer named Gregorian made corrections in that calendar too. But the correction was a minute one. Later turned into a big problem. The French adopted to the calendar very easily. But the Americans and England did not adopt it to that calendar. After few centuries, the small change in Augustus calendar made a big difference. According to Gregorian calendar, the day was April 15th. But according to Augustus calendar, the day was April 4th. Then the US and the England adopted to the Gregorian calendar. People then were afraid of the days they lost. They lost almost 11 days. They were afraid of to pay rents and other bills. Looking at this, the French called the Americans and the Britons as April Fools. This is the history behind April Fools Day. The names of the months are named according to the gods and names of last 4 months are named according to numbers. They are 7, 8, 9, 10 indic indicating September, October, November and December. Coming to the names of days in a week, they are named based on planets. Almost all cultures and all religions named the days of week in the same way. Sunday indicating sun, Monday indicating moon, Tuesday indicating Mars, Wednesday indicating Mercury, Thursday indicating Jupiter, Friday indicating Venus and Saturday indicating Saturn. Even in Telugu, you can observe the same names of the planets and names of the day in a week. But the puzzle behind the order of days in a week according to their names is not clarified yet. Let us hope that astronomers of today will solve the equation soon. This is the knowledge I have earned through two weeks of Coursera in the course Astronomy Exploring Space and Time. There are nine more weeks. I hope I learn more. I therefore thank management of VVIT and L4G Solutions for giving us such an opportunity to learn about things during quarantine. I request again everyone to stay home and stay safe. Thank you.